Monday, in the presence of City Mayor Patricia Chase Green, Tom Clark, Royston King, and other senior staff members of City Hall, witnessed the official and historic agreement to see the Starbrook Market Clock rehabilitated by the Americans. Deborah Lewis, Public Relations Officer acting and Chairman of the Proceedings, gave her reasons why the occasion is historic. Because the person who was responsible for the design of the Starbrook Market is none other than Mr. Nathaniel McKay, who is an American. Also, the company responsible for the construction of the Starbrook Market, Edgemore Iron Company of Delaware, USA. So, we see this as a very significant and historic occasion, and we see history repeating itself one more time for the mayor and councillors of the city of Georgetown. Mayor Chase Green, in her response, said the Starbrook clock holds many memories for many Guyanese. As a child, we enjoyed and knew when it was 10 o'clock. We knew every hour when the clock stopped from 1 to 12 midnight. And on Fridays at 10 o'clock, with that special siren. It was sad when it was no longer operating. And we are grateful today that with the assistance of the United States Ambassador, we will be able, along with our engineers, to have that clock rehabilitated. Ambassador Perry Holloway said, a lot of work has been put in place to make this project happen. As the mayor said, a um, number of members of my staff, most prominently Al Razak, who's standing over there with the camera, and others work very closely with the, the city or the town council staff to develop a proposal to Washington. And through that proposal, we did get funding in the amount of 41,000 U.S. dollars or 8.2 million Guyanese dollars. And it's through the Ambassador's Fund for Cultural Preservation. And we are pleased to announce that we now have 100% formal approval to begin this wonderful joint effort with the Mayor and Councilors of the City of Georgia. The clock will not be mechanically rehabilitated, but will be electronically done, powered by solar panels. The contract was signed behind closed doors. It is not clear when the rehabilitation of the Starbuck Market clock will commence, but City Mayor Chase Green is looking for the clock to ring in the new year, 2017. Andrew Weeks reporting for Safe TV2, Headline News.